Hi all, here's a quick video on how to get to um, a visa and um, look at your attendance or take your attendance in that particular day. I'm at the, I'm in the college's homepage, hovering over online services and this drop down menu appears. If I go down here to the last one that you can see on my screen, which is, it'll keep working. Um, oh my gosh, Leif is in the way. Okay, faculty, staff, SSO, that stands for single sign-on. Click on that. And then the same credentials that you use to sign into Canvas or anywhere else. And if you've never signed in using this particular computer before, you'll get to those questions um, to confirm that it's you and you'll get to a point where it will send you a text or an email to your personal email that you'll have to go retrieve, that sort of thing. But once you're into the single sign-on, um, notice that there's a few things we can get into here. We want to look for a visa. There it is, a visa retention. Click on a visa retention. By the way, if you're having trouble getting into single sign-on, my recommendation at this point is to send a message through the um, help desk. So the email is helpdesk, glenoaks.edu. Um, when I start authoring an email to them, it autofills. In fact, let's play with that just for fun. Um, helpdesk, 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 there it is. If you send an email there, that goes into our ticketing system and one of our wonderful IT representatives should be with you to help you in terms of getting signed in. Now I'm in my Aviso dashboard and I can click on a course. When you click on the course, you're automatically taken to where you can take attendance. So what we're seeing here is um, all of my students listed over here to the left, probably covered up just to make sure FERPA doesn't have, a, we don't have a FERPA problem. And then over here we can click present or we can click tardy, etc. cetera. Um, to use to have the students do their own attendance using the geofencing um, through their cell phone, they'll have to download the Aviso student app. Let me show you what that kind of looks like. I'm just going to click on It's got a little mortar board on it, um, and the student will get on their phone and go to their own app store, whether it's Apple like this one or um, Google Play or whatever it is, and they can find a Bezo student and they can download it. And I've had students have different levels of problems getting the app going in terms of them being signed in. What, what appears to happen from my observation is that they go to sign in, it takes them to a web, a web browser to sign in, similar to the kind of challenge that you might have with single sign-in with Glen Oaks. Um, and then they have to get back to the app and click on classes um, where the attendance will then be open. To open attendance, you click on open attendance and then pick a time, whether it's five minutes. I'll pick five minutes for now. The first time I do it, by the way, I give them 30 minutes. That gives them plenty of time to get things figured out. And what I've noticed, the students that are struggling can get help from other students these kids are much better at technology than at least I am at 52. So um, them helping each other, from my experience, has given the best results in terms of getting everybody signed in and able to do the attendance quickly. But anyway, again, the first time I, I give them 30 minutes, give them plenty of time to get it figured out. For this one, I'm just going to put five minutes so it goes away soon because this class isn't meeting until later today. What will come up then is a window with a with a four digit code like this um and the time will display on there for how long they have to get this code entered in their app once they've clicked on classes they should see a little message down at the bottom that says you know confirm attendance um the geofencing what that is supposed to do is use the cell phone zone gps to confirm that they're in your classroom um and I have confirmed when I had a student who had to join us on Zoom that she was unable to do the attendance because she was at home. Um, I had to mark her as present within Aviso itself. Um, you can leave this open. 
or you can like write the number on the board or something and then close this and you can reopen it later if you need to by clicking on show code. Um, what else? That's about it. And again, encourage your students to help each other if, if they're having problems because again, um, based on my experience, that's the fastest way to help them get to where they can in terms of getting the attendance done. As always, if there's any questions, please let me know and I'll, I'll help where I can. Thanks for watching.